No one doubts the sophistication of the Gripen E fighter jet. Sweden is also proud of the capabilities of the single-engine fighter aircraft, which was launched on May 18, 2016. However, dynamics are changing rapidly, making Sweden have to think again if they want to continue using only the Gripen E until 2050. With Sweden officially joining as part of NATO, plus its neighboring countries, which have operated and ordered fifth-generation fighter aircraft, it is encouraging that Sweden must take concrete steps in the face of existing challenges while still maintaining the interests of its domestic defense industry. Saab recently teased a number of demonstrator concepts for Sweden's future fighter aircraft for the first time as it continues to conduct manned and unmanned aircraft design studies ahead of a decision to procure Sweden's next-generation fighter jet in 2031. While the demonstrator models were presented as a series of digital designs by the manufacturer during a media visit on Monday to the company's Linköping production facility in southern Sweden, some physical models have also undergone wind tunnel testing, according to Peter Nielsen, head of advanced platforms at Saab. The images shown to the media contained little detail, only a small collection of white aircraft silhouettes. Nielsen told media that although Swedish authorities had not yet explained the exact capabilities required by the demonstrator jet, some details had been discussed, including the size of the aircraft and different configurations. Additionally, they want us to be fast and agile, Nielsen added, with the path forward that will involve rapid prototyping. Additionally, a final systems review and innovation concept review will be conducted in the near future to better determine the path forward for the demonstrator concept phase. So far, no decision has been taken by Sweden as to whether to choose manned or unmanned demonstrators. This aircraft could be unmanned, because what we are interested in is some technology that does not require a pilot, Nielsen said. But because the Swedish Defense Material Administration or FMV wants to see iterations, the designs don't have to be super advanced. But as the concept phase progresses, each design is expected to be more capable than the previous one. In March, Saab received a two-year contract from FMV to carry out future fighter conceptual studies focused on manned and unmanned aircraft design, while Sweden's future fighter Phase II schedule was stated to run from 2026 to 2031, focusing on work concept and development of the demonstrator before the final decision of the procurement period. Much of what is tested or developed over a five-year period will be heavily influenced by Saab's new Rainforest Technology Laboratory and a series of research and development projects. Engineers at Rainforest are currently building a small, low-cost drone, nicknamed Ruby, to assess the flight of aircraft built with new technologies such as 3D-printed composite wings, 3D-printed hulls, and integrated with 4G-6G datalink connectivity. Avionics evolved from the Gripen e-fighter jet. <laughs>